So what's going on guys? This is Jason here recording another video. Just gonna be doing like a little update just to show you guys what I've been doing. So uh, I'm recording this on my S7 so tell me what you guys think about the quality. So I got these hybrid tail lights put in. If you guys can't hear me, sorry. I put them in myself. They look really nice. These bars light up at night and they stay lit. And then as I step on the brake, these light up in between. It looks really nice. It's fucking hot, dude. It is hot. It's 84 degrees right now in uh, California, sunny Southern California. Um, I need to go get a doctor's note, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. I haven't made a uh, POV in a while, so I thought that'd be a good idea for you guys. So in the beginning of this video, you guys saw that I put hybrid tail lights on. Now a lot of you guys are going to ask. Are they authentic? Now, the tail lights that I bought are Hawkeye tail lights. They sell them on eBay for about two hundred dollars, and they're very nice uh, looking tail lights. As you guys can tell, they are the uh, LEDs to uh, like regular uh, red. Uh, kind of like I wouldn't say they're LEDs either, but kind of just like a regular bulb, but they're red, obviously. Um, but the LED bars are so nice of an accent that I just couldn't help myself. I had to get them. It just they looked so nice. I just I had I couldn't help myself. Um, so Evo 10, nice. Um, so got those, put those in. Took literally, I'd say. Why are you sitting on small rims, man? You have some really small rims. I'll put my windows down actually. Just a little bit. So, um, put those on. They fit perfectly. No problems whatsoever. Uh, the lights are brighter than shit. Way brighter than factory. Um, as far as power being drawn, uh, the 2015 Civics tend to draw a little more power due to uh as you lock your vehicle after getting out let's say like it's nighttime okay and you get out of the car and you end up uh, locking the vehicle now locking the vehicle will enable the the headlights and the tail lights to stay on for i'd say like close to maybe six or seven seconds it might be 10, I'm not really sure, I don't really count when I do it, but it's it's on there for a decent amount of time. Now, due to this, holy shit, I need gas. I need gas. So basically, because of that, when I get back into my car and I have HIDs, and I have those uh, those taillights that aren't factory, so they draw power a little bit, they, a little bit actually a little bit more than they should be. Um, so due to that, when I get into my car, sometimes it just like, my battery's just like, oh, like, fuck you, you're drawing too much power. So when I start my car, after being at work for a couple of hours, it'll almost be like close to dying, like not wanting to start. So that's the only problem I'm having. I might just end up buying a more powerful battery to withstand that sort of thing. And then I actually ended up buying a, uh, 12 inch subwoofer that's alpine and then a 500 uh, watt amp to support that i'm still running the factory honda um uh, sound system which sounds fantastic don't get me wrong i just don't feel like investing in holy shit it is hot fuck why is it so fucking hot dude so due to that i've been buying a lot of shit like i i've 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 came to the conclusion that I bought a lot of things this past year um, I've had this car for almost about a year now um, I believe it's in May I'll have the car for a year 
so that means my tags are coming up that's gonna be two to three hundred dollars it's gonna be pretty you know pretty pricey it might be a little bit more I'm not really sure usually the first um, your uh, renewal on your tags usually the first time if it's a brand new car it's pretty expensive the first time around it's usually the the most expensive time it'll ever be um, this road is really bumpy fuck I got the new S7 the phone's all right it's pretty good actually I, I won't say it's all right it's a pretty good phone the camera's fucking excellent I'm sure you guys seen in the beginning the camera's fucking excellent it's probably gonna be in I'm most likely it's gonna be in 4k um, but I'm not gonna render it out like that because it's just way too much fucking uh, I'll put it to 1080p I'm not sure what else pulled over the other day I was going way too fast down the street and this cop was just chilling on this island and I don't know if you guys know what an island is some of you might know obviously it's pretty self-explanatory but like these little things in the middle of the street right here are islands considered basically and there's islands that block some of the streets like going from like a main street there'll be an island and there'll be a road behind that that'll go to like different um to different side streets so I was going way too fucking fast. I went past him. I, put, I popped the car in a neutral because I was going like 80 miles an hour down the street. And popped the car in a neutral so he didn't fucking hear me. Like, I just rolled. I just rolled and just broke. Not too hard. I didn't want to, I didn't want to screech. But I just wanted to like slow down just enough to where, you know, he wouldn't realize that I was going way too fast. Way faster than I should have been going. I've had pretty much good luck due to uh shit not to be racist man but I'm, I'm i'm a white guy i'm hispanic i'm hispanic but i'm white skinned um so it's not really a big factor don't get me wrong it's not a big factor i'm not saying that you know cops are all cops are racist but it's a it's a pretty big factor you know i have tinted windows all the way around my car i have a muffler delete which makes my car pretty loud from the outside from the inside you know it's decent but from the outside being behind me it is very loud so you know i i have i'm very surprised that i haven't gotten pulled over yet but i i, I obey the laws to a certain extent i speed and that's it i don't run red lights i don't do any stupid shit i race occasionally if i do race i race because i know i can win if, I, if I'm gonna lose, I'm not gonna do it. But I haven't been, I haven't raced anyone that I haven't, that I felt like I was gonna lose. And every single race I have raced, I've won. Um, I can't really remember the cars that I've won. No, I've, I raced some, look at that, low fuel. I'm, I'm gonna scrape this acorn. Oh, close. That's another thing about being low, guys, is you'll scrape shit like I'm not fucking with you. If you are about to hit a fucking acorn, you're going over an acorn, you know, you gotta scan, you know, you're low, you gotta scan the road. If you're about to hit something, you see something in the road that you're like, man, I fucked up. Like that's that that's what you say to yourself because you know, you, there might be a car behind you and you can't stop abruptly and change lanes, you know, someone might be next to you, you just, you know, you just have to fucking take it. You'd say, oh fuck. And as soon as you hit it, it's like your fucking front wheels are getting ripped off of the fucking car. It sounds disgusting. It sounds terrible. And, you know, thank God I'm not low enough to where, where I'm scratching fucking leaves and stuff. But, you know, I'm low enough to hit a, you know, if I hit an acorn, it's going to hit every part underneath my car and sound like it just ripped my whole fucking tranny apart you know so like it, it sounds pretty disgusting i recently went to uci irvine uh, i have videos on those comment down below if you guys really want me to put that up I, I bring my gopro with me but i didn't i didn't have a stabilizer at the time that's just what i just bought the other day was a stabilizer to um you obviously stabilize my GoPro, make it a lot smoother. What is this guy doing? What are you doing, fam? What are you doing, fam? 
what are you doing? Comment down below if you guys want to see the UCI. There was a fuckload of cars, a fuckload of people. It was pretty nice. It was actually a really nice event. Um, everybody was really, really nice. Um, met a bunch of cool people, looked around, saw a lot of different companies. Uh, as far as wheels, really nice wheels. Um, am I in the market for wheels right now? I'm not really sure. It depends on my money where it sits right now because I, like I said, I've spent so much money this year that I'm not really sure if wheels are a really good choice right now. My stock wheels are okay. Maybe I can do something with my stock wheels, maybe like a trade or something because they're worth a decent amount. Um, but we'll see on that. I think I'm out of shit to say. Look forward to the new SI coming out. I'm not really sure exactly when they're going to be dropping it, but I was looking on the uh, websites recently because my buddy is actually in the market for buying a car, and I told him, you know, dude, the SIs are fucking nuts. And he's like, oh, I want to get a BRZ or FRS. And I'm like, dude, like, they're not twerky at all. Like, they're shit. There's one right there, actually. And there's an Evo. And there's a girl driving. Hey, girl. When that does come out, I will be doing a review on it. I have a buddy uh, that works at the nearest dealership to me. And I told him, nice, man, nice. I told him that, uh, you know, if, if it's possible, I would really like to uh, go and see if I can get my hands on one. You know, just for like the day, see what I think about it. You know, power and all that stuff. And, you know, do a decent review on it. I would really like to do that. And he said, yeah, sure, no problem. So, look forward to that. Yeah, so hopefully I can pump some more of these videos out for you guys. If you guys are liking these POVs, let me know. If you guys would like me to do some vlogs, you know, let me know. Um, I think POVs are a lot nicer. You guys are obviously watching for the car. So, I think I'll probably continue to do the POVs maybe like once a week let you guys know what's going on with me and what's going on with the car and what to look out for and you know pretty much all that's good stuff so let me know down below what you guys think of the video please like favorite comment I don't even think there's a favorite button on YouTube anymore I think they took that shit out like the video tell me what you guys think tell me what you guys think about my tail lights I'll show a little picture at the end of the video what my car looks like and actually you guys should be able to see actually on my uh on my uh my profile pic i think I, I uploaded one but i don't know if it's gonna be a nighttime view i'll shoot i'll show you guys a nighttime view of what it looks like so this has been jason i hope you guys like the video if you guys have any suggestions on what i should be doing next what i should talk about please post it down in the comments below i do these videos for you guys um I just like cars. I'm an enthusiast just like every one of you guys that are watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you for hit, letting me hit 100 subscribers, guys. That's a fucking really good achievement. You know, thanks for everyone that's been stopping by, giving me likes and, and comments and favorites and all that good shit. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, keep this train going and I'll start pumping out some more videos as long as you guys are requesting and showing you guys' love and support. So um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good day.